ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் அனதர் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் வேரியபிள் விச் இஸ் தி ரேண்டம் ஸ்ட்ரிங் அண்ட் ஸோ ஃபார் வி சா அபவுட் கவுண்டர் லிஸ்ட் ஃபைல் அண்ட் ரேண்டம் இன்டீஜர் இன் ஆர் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் நாட் சீன் தெம் ப்ளீஸ் do subscribe to our channel and watch the videos in the playlist or check the link or check the description for the links so now let's go to the random string and we will see how does this random string works and also we'll see the difference between the random string and the other variables so with no further delay let's see how to use the random string in the new load performance testing so first let's create the transaction i'm adding a transaction now and inside the transaction i'm adding the request which is the http request and this is a get request So let's now execute the script and see whether the script is valid. So here we can see the values the response has been displayed here and this is a sample request and we are going to use our new variable which is the random string so let's create the random string here so random string name is going to be the name of this variable and the maximum the minimum length is 5 so even we can start it from 1 to a maximum of 1000 so the maximum length can be 1000 so this can be the maximum length which we can use it for the random string so this is different from the random integer say for example if you remember in our previous videos we have given this with more capacity since it's an integer but for our string the maximum is 1000 so that's a maximum length of the string we can give here so i'm choosing 1000 which can be the maximum length and the minimum length is 5 and we are keeping the value change policy as on each use so i'm clicking on okay let me give the name to random string name and this is going to be our random string so this is the random string we have set up and let's now replace that in our script I'm giving us random screen string name and now let's execute the script and see how does it work so in our three iterations we can see the variables have changed since we have chosen the random string value so let's now make few quick changes and we will try this script again so instead of keeping it to a length of 1000 let's keep it to the maximum length of 5 and we will change this to each iteration and also we will create one more transaction so we will duplicate it and we will have this as transaction 1 and this to be transaction 2 and we have the same request and we have set up two different values so for now let's create another string so i'm duplicating this by copying it so i have a random string 1 let me change this to random string 2 so i have random string 1 and random string 2 and for the ran for the second transaction i'm changing it to 2 
and for the first I'm changing this to random string one so let's now see how does this work so here we can see that with our setup of on each iteration for two different transactions we have got the values in a random fashion so let's try one more thing so we'll go to this random string and if you remember we have the same setup what we had in the random integer so we had a random predictable randomization in the random integer and we have a similar setup in the random string so let's try that now so we have the same setup here so we'll go to the random string one and we'll set up the predictable randomization and we'll come to the second random string and we'll set the same here and let's now run the script with each use so that on each use we will get different random string and let's see how does this random string works and here we have executed the predicting randomization as the option and we have got these as the variables the five length the length of five string this is what we have got so this is how it works so let's see the difference between the random string and the other variables we have already used in our video and we have already discussed so first let's start with the random string versus the counter so the counter totally deals with the numbers so we set a starting value and we set a maximum value and also we can set this increment value and we have the value change policy and the value distribution policy but when it comes to string it's totally different because we don't deal with any numbers here it's totally with these strings there is no option to add any integers or any numbers it's totally of a string and every string that comes in here will come in a small letter so they don't come with a capital letter so they all come with the small letters and then we have this list so we have already discussed about this so this list comes with adding uh, or importing the data set and we can add columns we can remove columns we can add multiple values and if we want we can remove the values but when it comes to the string it's totally into only string and then we have discussed about the files where we can import the files with multiple values so the last one which we can at least have a comparison is random integer and random string since both of them look similar except the random integer deals entirely with the integer and the random string totally deals with the string and also there is one major difference because in random integer we can have a maximum number of this many zeros in here but for random string the maximum length of the string is 1000 so that is the major difference we have because more than that if we assign some values then it won't be accepted so the maximum is triple nine or 1000 is the maximum length of the string which we can use for the random string so let's try one more thing so we have a random number here so this is a random integer and we have a random string so let's see how to add a random integer and a random string so we'll go to this script and so we can give a space and we will add the random integer and let's see how does it work or let's even have an option say for example for the first name and last name say if any name which we have now has a first name and last name so we have the random string name one as the first name and we'll add the random string name two as the last name same way we will do the change in the second script where we add the random string name two as the first name and random string name one as the last name and we will see how does this work so again we'll have the same setup with three iterations with two transactions and let's start the test and see how does this work whether we have an option to display them display two strings in the same request back to back or next to each of them and let's see how does this work so the test has started 
let's see the end of the result so here we can see that we could see the random strings here but let's go to the request and see because that will give us a more clear idea so let's go to the details and here in the request we can see here that this is the request that this is the first name and then with the space we entered the last name and we can see the response here so the same way for any request here we can see this was the name that was given here and here again so this is how by entering the random strings we can achieve what we want so let's do a quick recap so we have started with declaring a random string name with a maximum value of 1000 and then we have tried it with different value change policies and also then we have given the string names even even let's try one more thing like we can give this without a space and let's see how does it work or whether it works let's remove the space so we have removed the spaces here and let's run the script again and see how does this work because the previous request did not accept as two different names but when we add them as a single name and let's see how does this work the test has got completed and let's go to the response and see how does it work so here we can see that the the two names that we have given the first name and the last name has been taken as one single name and it's working this way that it is working even without giving any spaces so wherever we declare the variables or the, the values it automatically works so that is how the random string works and also we saw about the differences between the random string and the counter random string and the list random string and the file and random string and the random integer so we saw that the random integer totally deals with the integers and the numbers and the random string totally deals with the string so that is how the random string works and with that we come to an end we will meet in another interesting video in our next session until then it's bye bye from Vasan Shanmugam and Little's Law